Hey, welcome back to Marketing ADD. My name is Dylan Meislewick, if I haven't introduced myself before. And uh, today I want to be uh, sharing with you some information from one of my favorite business books of all time, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. And for many of you uh, small business owners out there, some of this stuff might ring true for you now and some of it most likely rang true in the past if it doesn't still ring true now. So just to read what the e-myth is, the e-myth is the entrepreneurial myth, the myth that most people who start small businesses are entrepreneurs. The fatal assumption that an individual who understands the technical work of a business can successfully run a business that does that, does that technical work. The reason why this is important is because many small business owners uh, get into the game of running their own business because they've perfected a technical skill and now they want to branch off on their own. The reason why this can be detrimental is because when it comes to running a business, there are three mindsets that must be present in that business. And if you're the only one who's in said business, then you must have all three mindsets. So those three mindsets start off with the technical uh, mindset or the technician's mindset. That is the baker in the bakery. So that's the person who's doing the skill that is making the money for the company. And another way to think about it is they're the ones that are working in the present. The next skill that you are the next mindset that you must have is the managerial mindset. They're the ones that have looked at the past, they're looking at the numbers, and they're making sure and ensuring that you're still meeting those numbers. So, if you have employees, the manager is the one making sure that they're actually meeting the bottom line. Then there is the entrepreneurial mindset. And they're the ones that look to the future and they're the ones looking to always grow because just like as in your mind and in your body, if you're not growing, you're dying. That's why you need to continually work out and that's why you should continually read. So when it comes to your business, you should always be looking forward. Ultimately, you want to be the entrepreneur in that trifecta because they're the ones that work on their business and not in their business. If you're the technician, the manager, and the entrepreneur, then you aren't working on building a business, you're working on building a job. And that job will have the worst boss of all yourself. Because just like in any scenario where you're you know, having to do so much that it's beyond your control or outside of your skill set, it'll become frustrating and it'll, you, it'll just eat yourself uh, up for all of that. So one of the things that it talks about in this book that uh, I'm actually helping uh, a friend work through now is when you're going to build a business or as you're continuing to grow your business, you're going to need to figure out how to replace the managerial and the technician uh, mindsets by having people come in, whether it's employees or virtual assistants or however it is that you're, it could even be, you know, bots or, you know, computers, software, etc. And so the way that you want to do that is by doing what he calls the franchise prototype. The franchise prototype is the concept that uh, the most, for example, the most successful business, small business in America is McDonald's. And many people are like, McDonald's isn't a small business, but it is. Every McDonald's that you've seen is actually a franchise that a single owner purchased. Now, it could be multiple owners, but it's, it's, it's somebody outside of the McDonald's corporation. And so what they've done is that the McDonald's corporation, the one who created the franchise for that organization, came up with a system of rules that the uh, business runs by. And as long as you follow those rules, you're, you're almost guaranteed success. Uh, one of the statistics he puts out in this book, and, and even though this was written quite a while ago, it's actually still true today, something along the lines of 80% of small businesses fail within the first year, and of that remaining 20%, 80% of them fail within the next five. And so that's one of those milestones that's very hard to get past, that five-year milestone. And this book right here is one of the best ways to get past it. So, like I said, the franchise prototype, the objective of that is to build your business as if you're going to franchise it. Now, that doesn't mean you have to franchise it. It doesn't even mean you have to hire minimum wage employees that are meant to you know, only do something like flip a burger. The objective is to figure out the bare essentials of what your business requires 
scope that out so that it's perfected and then hire the minimum requirements for that. So say you're trying to do this with a law firm. Obviously, they need to have passed the bar exam, but you can still set certain rules that they will follow to ensure that your company sees continued success. So what that what your uh, the idea is that you should be going through your company, figuring out everything that it is that you do, and write out something like a work instruction or a standard operating procedure for that uh, task. Then what you want to do is figure out what jobs would exist in your company that would handle each of these tasks. Collect these work instructions and SOPs under each of these job titles, and then write your name under every job title, right? Then as you look at all these jobs, figure out which ones require the least amount of skill and take up the most amount of time. And the goal is, is to uh, find someone and hire someone to replace that so that you no longer have that burden. And that's one foot you know, stepping out the door so that you are no longer working in the business. And the goal is to do that until ultimately you get every job filled except for CEO. And that way, you're only the only uh, job that you have is to look forward and figure out how to grow your company. So I hope that helps. I wanted to keep this simple. This book is very dense. I would highly re recommend picking it up. I'll put a link in the description uh, to get this. And like I said, it's definitely my favorite business book of all time. Uh, I've tabbed this thing like crazy. Uh, for anyone who's not watching, I'm sure you can hear the plethora of tags or multitude of tags. So anyways, I hope you enjoy and uh, thanks for stopping by.